Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm at one of my favorite gear booths, Vanquest. I test their gear, I've used their gear, I've taken it to Hawaii and been on hikes. You guys have seen those videos, hopefully. But uh, yeah, they got a booth down here at SHOT Show. So let's do a little flyby and see what they've got. And I'm sure you, you guys have probably already seen a lot of these things, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what the booth looks like at the show. Hank Strange is checking out the uh, Racket 36, which is their uh, rifle bag. But the cool thing about VanQuest, if you guys don't already know, is this. This is the thing I like about their gear. They got the high-vis ripstop, that high-vis orange. So if you're a cameraman or videographer, you can get your gear easily. When you have a black camera and a black bag, you know, it's hard to find your stuff. With this, everything is highlighted. But like, I, like I said, you guys probably already know that from watching my videos. They got a lot of new different um, patterns out. I, that's the one I own right there. I'm using some of these pouches right now, the EDCMs. I already got, these are in my backpack right now as we speak. There's the uh, Envoy 2 that I'll have a video up. Let's go check out the... Uh, Oh, they got prototypes. So it's okay to show these, right? Oh, awesome. Matter of fact, let's have you tell, tell me yeah. what we got. I mean, if you have one to uh, do like a quick co um, cover of the new product. Let's do I, it, uh, man. Let's go for it. it. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm the head of the R&D at Vanquest. And uh, we are our new product for Shot Show 2015. The uh, Skids Messenger bag uh, should be available sometime next week. Or in two weeks or so. Um, this is our second uh, messenger bag in the uh, uh, in our product line. The profile looks slightly smaller than the Envoy messenger bag they had in one of our top seven uh, items. However, the volume is probably twice larger than the. I like uh, that. Envoy. That's cool. Yes. It's kind of like a like a dust cover, basically. Huh? Yes. You can actually turn it into like a roll top messenger bag. Oh, that is cool, yeah, man. We can cover it with, uh, I mean, just carry with pretty much just open top. Or you can lengthen the webbing. If you have something that's uh, much larger. If it's large, you can still put it inside and, and still close it up. That's yes, great. Exactly. And it has a CSW compartment. You do not even open the flap to get uh, access to the inside. I use that a lot, by the way, personally. Yeah, the, uh, I love boy. it. Yeah. Right, right. yeah, all the time. Yes. And on the back side, there's a computer compartment. So we make a curve like this, so when you have a lot of items, when the uh, bag is kind of bulging out, you can still get the uh, laptop in and out very, very quickly. Nice. One of the very interesting features of this bag is the TSA friendly uh, compartment. So when you go through airport, you can just put it on. Oh, they want it flat, yeah. Yeah, they want it flat. So you can just grab it and ready to go. I really like that. That is awesome. Looks like I'm going to have to buy that one for sure. <laughs> Big question then. How much is this going to cost? I don't want to interrupt, but... I believe this one is probably going to be like 130 Okay, so it's about similar to the other parts. Similar to Envoy. Okay, keep on going. There you go. And this one has kind of like a side axis pocket for CW as well. So you do not have to open the flap. You just open it on the side. Nice. The shoulder strap, you can switch it from left to right as well. Um, this is actually an upgraded uh, shoulder strap. It's called the GT Cobra swing strap. We are one of the first companies to use the US made uh, GT Cobra buckle. It has 500 pound tensile strength, excellent durable. And the stabilizer, just kind of keep the back. Nice. I like that buckle. Yes, it's and very, very it's nice. not metal too, so you don't have to worry about it. You know, beep, 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 you know, when someone's flagging. It's very, very lightweight um, yeah. compared to the original um, metal. The version of it. Yeah. yeah. Cobra buckle. So this is the the uh, sketch. Uh, 15, and we have a spread. It's called Skids 12. That's going to be available pretty soon as well. Okay. Nice. Uh, they share the same uh, profile feature and uh, PSA friendly compartment. So, really, what's the only difference? Uh, size. Just the size. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, this area. This area is for you to store like power supplies, cables, and uh, batteries. Uh, 
2021, one of the new six packs. We are also releasing this in uh, Thailand. Uh, it's a single, single compartment uh, sling pack. Similar to the V Slinger. Yes. Yeah, it's one of the uh, V Slinger series. Uh, fully padded compartment, very, very lightweight. Uh, uh, RD, uh, plus R D Cordera, so very durable. Hydration compatible. The hose can come up from here and be routed. Well, actually, it doesn't include those uh, hydration loops. So, I, I always like it when things are included. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's yeah. awesome. Like they just have the side the uh, admin pocket, front seat of the compartment as well. I like the gray. Nice. Yeah, you know what we're doing? Um, this is our new backpack. We do not have a name for it yet, uh, but it's going to be a 27, 28 liter backpack. So, uh, I mean, this is only a prototype, we're still working on it. Yeah. It's uh, available pretty soon. Very cool. So basically, a lot of the same internals, or is there anything different inside? I see that the flap opens all the way down. That's different for you guys, right? Oh, that one does too. Yeah. Oh. Like the Ibex. Like the Ibex, except with different compartments. That is cool. On the back side, there's a low lifter. Kind of waist wraps. But it will come with a padded waist strap. Yeah. Nice. I like that. That is very cool. Something we're working on. Should be finalized fairly soon. Great, great. Thank you very much. Oh wait, we got more, right? Oh well, these we've seen. Oh wait, no, I haven't seen these. Actually, these are the uh, Kataras. The Katara is a. Uh, I mean, it's also one of the V uh, Stinger series. It's a single shoulder. It's like a smaller V Stinger. Yes, uh, smaller V Stinger. However, the main feature of it is that you can adjust the shoulder strap from right to left. Um, unlike you know, lots of companies, they make um, shoulder strap that's specifically for right shoulder or left shoulder. Yeah. Uh, for this bag, we actually make it um, symmetrical, so you can adjust from right to left. Mm -hmm. You got a CCW on there. Yeah, you can use it for CCW as well. And, uh, and then the difference between this one and the other V Stinger is that this one is uh, symmetrical. You can adjust the from left to right. Now, this is nice for the guy that just wants something to carry small things. Yes. Just exactly. enough to get the job done, nothing big. I like that. I like that. Very nice. Uh, we're also working on some uh, new medical uh, packs and organizers. You want to show me those? Let's go, let's go take a look. Oh, they're right here. There we go. Currently, we have two different sizes of space. We're working on the larger one. Those are actually the bar vendors. I have to work here. We do a lot of things. We do a lot of medical kits for people who are in the medical profession. Yeah, I actually have this one here that I still need to publish the video. Uh, but like I said, I've been behind big time. But yeah, I love these. Yeah, it's great. So this is basically just a, a larger version. A larger okay. version of it, yes. I know. This one actually needs to like uh, fold out house oh, like yeah. this. Yeah. Now is this removable? You can move it? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. But this is only a prototype. Um, the size of the uh, 7 by 10. I got a set feature. This one should be available. Awesome. Well, how much is this going to cost? By the way? I don't know if you know. Probably don't have a price yet. Yeah, uh, the small one, I believe, is like 1D. It's coming out. The large one is like 34, so this one. Not the much, man. There's a million. I mean. Uh, so usually you show a lot of voice and MSRP like right so you can help me get you for my wife. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, they can go to the website and get that information. Okay. Great. I think that's pretty much what, um, what we have right now. Oh, those bags, I don't know if uh, you've seen them before. The Racket 36? Yeah, you, actually, yeah, you guys sent it to me. I have the video. Again, I'm still waiting to uh, to put the video together. But you know what? Since we got you, we might as well just go ahead and talk about it anyway. All right, 
so we're at VanQuest, man. Tell me why you guys made that bag. What was the idea behind that bag? Behind the scenes stuff that nobody else knows about. Yeah. Something that you didn't tell late, late boy scouts. This is off the cuff. Yeah. Well, that same kind of thing happens. I gotta tell you, uh, we love some tennis over here. YouTubers. We get. And to tell you the truth, there wasn't really to put a carbine in with my tennis rack. Is it carbine or carbine? Do you speak English? It's up to you. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 Sorry. We don't get it. We just go so I guess, really, what we wanted to do was make something that was soberly designed. Because the problem is, everyone out there is doing single layer of external material, like polyester, so you're something like that. And that's a huge problem because that means that the gun is going to print. We have a bullpup in here, an AK, an AR, an AOW shotgun, something poking out on the other side. We have all these contact points down here. So all the stuff that we saw in the market, and I mean all of them, even the ones designed by the most famous guys in the industry, they, I don't know, they kind of took a back seat to the design aspect. They just wanted to look a certain way, but the internal function was kind of lacking. I mean, four position. Delrin, single release buckle, both sides, adjustable muzzle cup, and here on the front, there just wasn't enough room for the ball, so we threw magazines in there. And really, I mean, these guys don't come with it, but you can set it up however you want. Um, other than something like a morale patch, this is a more useful thing for a law enforcement officer. If you're going to have, I don't know, let's say your department, your name tape, probably a good idea to go ahead and throw your blood type on there. If you're just carrying around a firearm in public, you're going to want paperwork, all right? Some kind of paperwork, you're going to throw something in there. You're not just going to walk outside with a gun. But the, the key thing is, gun owners like myself that live in big cities, what we want is no one really knows. I throw this in the back of my Jeep. Guess what? It looks like a tennis racket or possibly a banjo case. I can fit my full size AK, 36 inches overall, the same size as this guy, in there, walk in and out of my house when I go to the range, and no one is obviously seeing the profile of the classic gun. And really, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, that and the commies, because they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. Yeah. I, I forgot who I was talking to about this exact topic. You, you see these guys walking around, and if you look at me, I have my tactical blue jeans, oh, yeah. my tactical steel toe boots, yep. and my tactical $5 pack that I got at the Goodwill store. I think you found it on the street. Yeah, I'm like anti-tactical. And this is actually something that I'm really fascinated with because I, there's not a lot of guys out there making stuff that's the opposite of the tactical. Don't get me wrong, this stuff is cool. That stuff is cool. But this stuff is the kind of stuff that some people out there want. Yeah, that's the idea. And I appreciate you guys actually. Yeah, this is actually your baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is the guy that actually invented most of it. Well, not yeah, designed I, it. Co design, yeah. Co design. A lot of designing, but just because I, in the company, I would represent the end user. I'm the guy who buys this stuff. I'm the guy who's worked in gun shops and knife shops. And it just makes sense to get something that not only looks good, that, that's great, but it has to have the full functionality. Uh, while being comfortable, that helps as well. If you're rocking something like me, a nine pound milled AK with a couple of steel magazines in there, it's pretty heavy. But with a pad like this, it totally negates that. Yeah. And then of course, we do have this set up with a fast tab system. Right there, the grabbing, you tab, and you yank this out. It snacks no. it. Now not everyone's G.I. Joe or Jack Bauer, but maybe, just maybe, you're buying this because you need that capability. And because of that, we did the skip. Of course, we're using YKK zippers and tracks, mm -hmm. and they lock together. You know what, now, since I have you on camera, Yes. and I've asked you this before, but I don't have you tell the guys on camera watching this, why did you go with this setup? I mean, it's pretty obvious why, yeah. but tell these guys why. So instead of paracord, which can get out of the way, this is always going to be oval shaped, no matter what. And these guys are made by ITW, it's called the Zipline Orbit, and they're pretty much rip proof. I mean, you can yank the hell out of these, you would somehow fail this RC class zipper before you could possibly rip this thing open. But I mean, they're always going to be there, and if, of course, you want to secure your gun, you're going to throw at least a luggage lock or at the minimum a zip tie in there. Yeah, and, and Vanquist is already famous for these right here. 
these yeah. uh, on these loops that they, they, they tie in the open. I, I call this a fisherman's knot, personally. Yes, that's what it is. And uh, it, it's nice. That's I mean, why we call it that, Tom. Figured it out. But yeah, that's that's badass, man. Badass. So, is there any insider scoop like what you may come up with a version two? Well, bigger, smaller? What? There's going to be a smaller one. It's going to be a 26 inch. Mm -hmm. So, knock 10 inches off of this. And we're, we're playing with the fact that uh, if you did that and we put a little layer in there, you could then rock two broken down ARs or two AK pistols or AR pistols that they were rolling for under 26. Yeah. I actually took this pack to uh, one of my buddy's shops here in Vegas, a gun shop. We didn't tell you that. Yeah. And, uh, no, but I, I, I did it anyway, uh, but um, I took it there and we, we threw a bunch of guns in there just to see what it was like. And, um, yeah, that was one of the things that I was already noticing. I was like, it'd be cool if we did have a smaller one for guys that want to run something like a pistol. Yeah. And you guys are already doing it, obviously. Right? Yeah. And that's the thing. Uh, most bullet clubs, mm -hmm. pistols, AOW shotguns. Or even a folder. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, for instance, the Ibex. You can put a 10-inch scar, <laughs> folded stock in there, and externally, what does it look like? It looks like an approach bag for mountain climbers. Yeah. yeah. And that's the idea. It blends in. It's not something that stands out. The last thing we're ever going to do is make an OD green <laughs> Vietnam era look at me yeah. bag. Yes, we'll still make it in multicam because some people demand multicam, they need multicam. We sell multicam. I love multicam black person. I, I call that shoot me first. Yes, hey, shoot, shoot me first. Or break into my car because I know I have good stuff in there. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Especially when it's genuine multicam. <laughs> Alright, guys, so. Again, this is kind of off-the-cuff type of video, but it's, it's more of a fun video for me to do because I'm just goofing around with these guys. These guys are laid back, man. They're, they're cool. I've been supporting these guys for a while. They've been supporting me for a while. And uh, check them out. Website? www.vanqust.com There you have it. Go there. Check them out, guys. And cut. Oh, zip.